Now, the federal government of Nigeria has appealed to Nigerians and communities to be very careful in building and residing in the flood prone plants uh, to reduce the incidence of deaths and loss of properties across Nigeria. This was stated by the Minister of Water Resources, Suleiman Adamu, at the end of the weekly Federal Executive Council meeting, which was presided over by President Muhammadu Buhari. Ayoba Mekbashe tells us more in this report. Minister of Water Resources Suleiman Adamu is urging Nigerians and members of the public to be wary in building and residing on water courses and flood plains to reduce incidents of death. He said the Federal Ministry of Water Resources has a long term plan for abating the flood situations on the river Niger and Benue as 8% of flood are generated within Nigeria's boundaries. We intend, the, the, the ministry is working on a study, a master plan study for the rivers Niger and Benue, uh, which will uh, hopefully define navigation, reduce, uh, you know, uh, cut off uh, places that are causing floods, uh, improve the, 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 the flow situation in the river, uh, in such, the rivers, both rivers, in such a way that uh, we can reduce flooding and we can achieve meaningful navigation and reclaim some of the land for agricultural purposes as well as for tourism. The Minister Fura said with the help of all emergency agencies, the flood in River Niger is under strict observation as the water level is on the increase. So we have been observing the flow of River Niger, which is the most major uh, river regime in the country. Uh, and. Uh, we have an observatory in Lokoja, as you probably know. Uh, as at yesterday, the water level was uh, 11.14 meters. Uh, this morning, it has it had risen to 11.19 meters, which means there is an increase of five centimeters, or roughly two inches. Also, the Federal Executive Council approved a memo seeking the concession of 20 silos for storage of agricultural produce across the country to generate revenue for government and also enhance food security. According to Aud Obey, a total of 33 silos which were built over 10 years ago spread across six geopolitical zones of the country as the storage capacity of storing 1,360,000 metric tons of grains. The fact that we are concessioning some of these silos does not mean that we are reneging on our responsibility to guarantee food security. We are keeping six of the silos, which according to international standards will keep 5% of all the grains we harvest every year. The rest will go to private sector groups. And those who bid it and were screened and have shown capacity have been the ones who have been allocated the silos. There are rules, however. Those who are unable to manage them well will have the concession revoked. He explained the decision to concession the silos with private sector as being a slow process which was carried out by the World Bank, Concession Committee of Government, NGOs and Ministry of Agriculture, which is meant to address issue of proper management and accountability. From the Presidential Villa Abuja, Ayobami Kwashe, reporting for Court TV News. Thank you.